Hello everybody, welcome back to Leisure Suit Larry 3. You didn't think that was the real ending, did you? No, no, no. Uh, I admit, I, I knew it really wasn't the end of the game. So, what we need to do, let's go have a look around. We've just got fired from our job, got our divorce, or well, not a divorce, but our wife has left us. Oh, hello. Souvenirs. Souvenirs. Get your genuine Nontonite souvenirs. Oh wow, exclaims Tawny. Souvenirs. What you selling? She asks the paddler. Genuine plastic souvenirs, handmade in the city of Rushov. Seems legit. What was that? asks the girl. Hong Kong. The vendor mumbles <laughs> under his breath. <laughs> Yep. Oh, no matter. As long as they're genuine, give me several. You never know when I might be back this way, and I just love buying souvenirs. Altogether, that comes to the head of the considering what the market will bear. $300, American, and I'll cover the taxes for you. Really? That expensive? Well, okay, if you say so. Hey, thanks a lot, says the vendor. Have a nice day. Hey, I thought I changed that expletive. We'll come back here later. I thought I changed that expletive in the last game. But actually, yeah. You can put your own expletive. It was son of a bitch to start off with, so... Yeah. I've changed it, so I guess we'll see it soon. Also, you might have noticed... Hey, we can change the colour of the text box. And... Yeah, I have no idea what the text color numbers are, so let's go some random numbers, 5 and 13, what does that look like? Yeah, alright, good enough for me, oh yeah, well V this, okay, alright, let's go here, hey, it's the casino, and there's a hotel, let's talk to this gentleman here, Talk. Man, oh, that goes very well with the floor there. Your attempts to catch the clerk's attention. Excuse me. I'm sorry, sir, but this is a private hotel. Oh, okay, fine. Whatever. Okay, let's go here. I can go this way. No. Let's go up here. no one here. Oop! This exit is marked for employees only. You are no longer an employee of Natives Inc. Okay. <clears throat> Look around. Actually, it's something I'm doing here. Look in m mirror. Oh, in mirror. Quebec Gnicul Flesroy Isroy. Ah, you see yourself looking back. Haha, <laughs> backwards. Haha, <laughs> got it. Alright, so that's. Yeah, go on, my, my calculations. That's about another 1,997 left things we have to do if everything we do gains us two points. Not long. Not long to go. Um. Let's talk, man. Hello, sir. He said in the My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. Could you give me some information about the show inside? The man of responds, If you would like to see the show, you would have to have a ticket. Of course, some of those local tourist magazines contain free passes. If you have no ticket, you might try one of those. Okay, so, local tourist magazine. Oop. Magazine. It's in the box your discs came in. Have you read it? <laughs> that, of course, is referring to the manual. Alright, let's save here. I just want to see. Let's knock on this door. Looks like. 
ignoring the authorised personnel only sign on the stage door, you merrily bang away. Probably nothing will happen. Oh shit. Who in the hell do you think you are knocking on my stage door and disturb my show? Roars the burly stage manager. How dare you! Oh no, Larry. What have you done now? Ouch! Hey, do you know who I am? I saved this island from Dr. Nonoki. You bastard. You know, indiscriminate knocking could well be the death of you. Oh dear. Okay, first death of this. And there will be many more. Much else we can do in there now. Uh, let's just save again. And hey, let's see. Let's see if we can go for a swim. Well, <laughs> death count two souvenirs. <laughs> Next time, Larry, stay out of that polluted lagoon. Hey, I like how this game gives you different, you know, death, um, what is it, death sentence, death sentences, you know, different quotes after you die. Alright, let's go back this way. Let's do what I wanted to do before, and go back to Kalawalao's house. And, hey, I wasn't on the ground before. Dirt feels good under your feet. It's like a stick or something. Beneath the grandilla tree, grenadier tree, is a beautiful piece of wood. Alright. Get wood. <laughs> you take the beautiful chunk of grenadier wood from beneath the tree. Okay, go down this path. I don't think we've been this way. Ah, uh, yep, this screen. Yep, I don't think... I actually don't think there's any point to this screen. Okay, let's go back to Kalaulau's house and they're gone. Can we still talk? Kalaulau? Is that a spelling name? Hello? Say there's no response. Okay, open box. Hey! Look... Box. Yes, it's an eye box. Oh. Look in box. Well, well, look at this. It's an envelope from your credit card company. Get card. Eagerly, you take the envelope from the mailbox. Could this be that big break from Ed McMahon you've been looking for, hoping for? Say, it's an answer from a credit card company whose application you mailed only 15 weeks ago. Ripping open the envelope, you discover the new credit card, and look, it's in your name only. Kalalau can't claim this as community property. Hey, and we got a whole heap of points for that. Awesome. Can you go this way? Nope. Can't go up that way? Nope. Alright, let's go back this way. We haven't been up this path, I believe. Aha. Is that Chippen... Chippendales? Yeah. Ooh. This looks dangerous. Save. Ooh, looks like some nice flowers up here. Oh! oh. <laughs> you really fell for that one. Well, Larry, you are now fully convinced that gravity really sucks? <laughs> oh dear. Alright, that's death number three. It has been now been... What? I just saved it like two minutes ago. Less. Let's use the mouse. Alright. Get flowers. Pluck a few fresh orchids from 
the walls of the crevice. Alright. I don't think there's anything else to do in here. Uh, let's walk to this side here. To the right. Ooh. this? Ah, oh, comedy hat. Alright, we'll come back here later. Alright. It's right here. There's nothing before you but limitless jungle. There's no need for a guy like you to lose himself in that forsaken wilderness. You'd better head back to the bright lights of the city, Larry. No, but I want to get lost in the jungle. And if we fall down there, yeah, yeah, we're going to get we get that gravity sucks line. Okay, so we've got our... Actually, we can go up here, can't we? Yeah. Look. You're outside the legal offices of Dewey, Cheatham and Howe. Haha, <laughs> I get it. The, the best corporation associated legal professionals on the island of none tonight. Also the only. I'm guessing we're gonna come here and talk about a divorce. Talk man. Is there a lawyer available who could help me? You asked the clerk. I'm sorry, sir, but Mr. Dewey's on conference, Miss Cheatham is taking the positions, and Mr. Howe is in court. Could you please drop again by later? Ugh. Please drop guy. Please drop in later. Alright. Ooh, this looks like nice flowers. Flowers. There are some beautiful flowers here. Alright. Let's get some more flowers. Well, these flowers are beautiful. They don't just lay right. Okay, is that telling me something? Well, maybe I don't get those flowers. I don't know. Maybe I've already got enough flowers. Oop. Ah, why is this jungle so hard to navigate? Eh, I don't think we've been this way either. Ah, facet. What's facet? It's a whale. What does? What's a? Is that a type of whale? Facet. Facet. Alright, uh, no, really, Fat City, okay. Uh, I'm guessing it's some sort of gym. Alright, uh, let's talk to man. Hello, says Robin. New in town? New in town? I've got a freaking huge plaque on the, you know, near the binoculars where you look at naked ladies. Jeez. Certainly have an interesting way with clothes, insults the man behind the counter. Oh, Jesus. Robin looks bored. Do you have nothing to do better than standing talking to me? Have you heard the news? Says the receptionist. Passionate Patty is coming to the c casino lounge. Passionate Patty? Was she named Polyester Patty in the last game? How might I help you? Asked the clerk. How may I help you? Ask the clerk. Okay. They don't give you a f certain few messages. Alright, so I think that's pretty much everywhere we've been, I think. It... Uh, we've been behind here. Ah, yes. Look, the casino's changing cabana, which bears an amazing resemblance to an outhouse, is nestled in a grove of trees. It's like some sort of sink. Look, sink. A public sink is mounted on the side of the cabana. A bar of soap hangs over the sink, suspended by a rope looped over a nail. All right, let's get soap. Okay, you grab the unusual shape of soap on a rope. That hangs above the sink. Unusually shaped. 
is uh, inventory. Hmm, what's so oddly shaped about it? Is because there's a hole in it? Like, I don't know, someone put their, you know, what in it? I don't know. Alright. Oh, there's a sink there. So, I wonder if it'll let us take a drink from this. Ah! We can actually take a drink! Ah! Alright, so let's go back down here to the beach. Before this guy, souvenirs guy comes. Talk woman. Before speaking to a woman, it is advisable to look at her, Larry. Okay, look, woman. Hello, you say to the beautiful young girl on the towel. My name is Larry, Larry Laffer. Hello, Larry, responds, replies the blonde. My name is Tawny. Wow, she looks even better vertical. Bet she has a great horizontal hold. Alright, let's talk woman. Before you speak, you look straight into her eyes. Ooh, blonde hair, blue eyes, ooh. What is she looking at? What is she doing with her nostrils? Alright, so... Talk woman. Have you been to down tonight? Not tonight, down tomorrow? Blech. No, but if I ever find it, I could spend my whole vacation there. What would it take for you to date an um, older man like me? Larry, I guess I'm just a material girl. Have I mentioned to you that I'll soon be coming to a major real estate holding? Is it a shopping mall? Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. She likes, you know, shopping. Give. Woman. Card. Give her your card. What? Give. Card to woman? Well, oh, I wouldn't let me do that before. Here, Tony, you say, I can see how you enjoy shopping. I'd like to have my credit card. <laughs> oh, Larry, she cries, Tony. It's the perfect gift, the right size and the right shape and the right colour. Gold! And I think I know the perfect way to express my appreciation to you, too. Come here, big boy. Oh, yeah. All right. Souvenir. Oh, go away. Souvenirs. Get your genuine non tonight souvenirs. Oh, wow. Explains Tony. Souvenirs. What you selling? Tony yells at the peddler. Peddler some I have some fine Ginsu knives. Excuse me for a moment, will you? Tony asks you. Something else has popped up. Well, that was <laughs> that was rude to think to yourself. So, what do you think, lady? Says the vendor. Wouldn't you like one of these fine Ginsu knives to take home for, for a souvenir? For you, I'd like to make a special deal. Ooh, says Tony. Is it really a bug? I just love bargains. Most assuredly so, says the peddler. It is made with hand-rubbed hickory handles with the blade of the finest Sheffield carbonized steel drawn from the hottest 100-year-old charcoal fires owned to perfection by small oriental virgins and guaranteed for life. Or until you leave this bitch, we don't ever come to us. I'll take it, says Tawny. Does it come in a carrying case? No, says the peddler. But I'll bet you could, says the peddler. That'll be $30, she, he concludes. 
Well, let me see now, replies Tawny, digging into her bikini bottoms. Oh gosh, I've only got 20 bucks in cash left. But wait, I do have this nice shiny new credit card. Turning to you says, hey, hold this knife for me, will ya? Thanks ever so much, madam, says the native sliding his imprint imprinter over your former credit card. It's a pleasure doing business with a real pro. Turning it back to you, Tawny says, I'm sorry to interrupt us, my little shopper whopper. But you know, I just can't resist a purchase. Oh great, so this guy has my credit card. Ugh. And now, where were we? Uh, screw it. You pause to contemplate her rude behaviour. Were you too offended by a thoughtless interruption to continue love making love to the beautiful young Tawny? Nope. Alright, so we're on the totally raunchiest level, and yeah, if we weren't on the totally raunchiest level, if we were one of the lower levels, yeah, this wouldn't be animated at all, it would just be, yeah, just like that, it's them sitting still. Um, suddenly you become aware of hundreds of tiny sand crabs that have been crawling inside your leisure suit pants since you first laid down on the sand. Yeah! You scream, quick, get off me! Is my love making that good for you, my middle-aged mole man? Says Tawny. Get fucked, you cry. Tawny, I've got a terrible case of crabs. Crabs? Shouts Tawny. I should have known better to have anything to do with a local, especially an older local, and a pudgy older local at that. As you pull a large crab from your pants, Tawny says, Like, man, refu I refuse to party with any guy socially irresponsible. Get lost, Flaxido Domingo. Yeah, you probably... S Tawny baby, you cry. Does that mean we're through? There is no response. Can we talk to her again? Talk woman. Oh, wow. Souvenirs without looking at what you're selling. She turns to recognize, oh, it's you again. Leave me alone, you creep. Obviously, she still remembers you, Larry. You only had some sort of disguise. Uh, well, as you probably saw, yeah, my explicitive, get fucked. Alright. Hey, we lost our car, but we got ourselves a Ginsu knife. This knife would be perfect for slicing your Ginsu if it weren't so dull. What the hell is a Ginsu, anyway? What is a Ginsu? You can't do that now. <laughs> God. But something we can do. So our knife isn't very sharp, so let's sharpen knife on steps. Okay. You rub your dull Ginsu knife back and forth onto the smooth concrete steps of the casino. Much to your surprise, it becomes razor sharp. Without thinking hastily, you shove it back in your pocket. Ow! <laughs> All right, and that piece of grenadier wood that we got, let's carve. Wood with na noaf knife. Okay, use oh god. <laughs> what well, use your razor sharp Ginsu knife to carefully carve the precious grenadier wood into what you hope will be accepted as a primitive island native sculpture. Alright, and there's something we can do with these flowers we got. We can... Uh, make... Lay. Okay, you weave the old orchids into a beautiful lay. Alright, we're getting shit done. Welcome to the islands, Mr. Laffer. Okay, there's one thing I have to do. Hey, my sh points are shooting up. Alright. And one thing we have to do while we're here, we can only do it here. Cut grass with knife. 
Okay. Your razor sharp Ginzu knife slices through the blades of the grass like a hot samurai sword through the hot tub of cheap margarine. Congratulations! You are the new owner of some long blades of grass. Alright. Now, what we need to do... Actually, first off, let's... Where is it? Erotic sculpture. <laughs> You've always been a true admirer of the African primitive school of sculpture. Uh, look at him and look at the smile on his face. <laughs> uh, Alo, you funny. Okay, so let's get changed. Oh wait, first we have to make skirt with grass. Okay, you carefully weave the wild grass until you hope will pass for a primitive island a native outfit. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, let's change. Congratulations! You have dumbfounded this game. Change into skirt. Okay. You remove your leisure suit and hide it in a st inside the stall while slipping into the grass skirt. Boy, you look like a native now. Do we have to wear the lay? Good idea, you might try. Oh, okay, that's for something else. Alright, let's go down to the beach again. Souvenirs! Souvenirs! Get your genuine non tonight souvenirs! Oh wow! exclaims Tony. Souvenirs! What you selling? asked the peddler. Gentle, genuine non native islander gen designer labeled erotic carvings for one twenty dollars. Only twenty dollars, you cry. But you better hurry, I only have one left. Well, says Tony, I might be interested. Does it have any special features? Your disguise seems to be working, Larry. Tony doesn't recognize you. I'm glad you asked, you respond. There is one small part that might attract your eye. Get fucked! It's a deal, she says. I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. You're lucky. I'm down to my last 20 bucks, says Tawny. Here you are. Thank you very much, miss, and use it in good health. <laughs> Can we go back there? Hey, she's gone. She left the towel behind. Okay. Get towel. Change clothes first. Okay. Who are these guys? I don't know. Alright. Let's change into suit. Okay. Since you no longer have to use that silly, you toss it through a hole community and place it on the floor. I presume it's just for this purpose. Who's that lady? Oh, hello. Are you enjoying the view, buddy? Talk woman. I've never seen that before. She's undressing. Wow, says Bill. Take a look at that bikini. Open the door a little, will ya, Bill? Responds Al. Let's go down here. Now, let's get the towel first. Let's get tan. Oh, lie down. Oh, God. Get Toral. Okay. Maybe I have to do that later or something. I don't know. Where do we go next? Can't remember what to do next. Uh, the grass. Got the comedy hearts. 
We're outside the world-famous comedy hut. The fast food of comedy clubs. The fast food of... Okay, yeah. They appear to be open. Okay, I'm just going to save this video right here. Comedy club. And, yeah, that'll do for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.